Hello there kitties, I'm Kari, the vacuum chip witch. And today I've got a speaker cabinet that needs some repairs. Let's put it on the bench <coughs> and see what's inside. I bought it on Saturday, thinking about uh, something to connect uh, guitar amplifiers too because I don't have a proper speaker cabinet uh, for for playing for for learning and I found an offer for something cheap let's get it on the bench Bloody freaking hell! This thing is heavy! I made a successful strength throw and it's on the bench. So first thing I want to do, yeah, let's get some better lighting on this one. First thing I gotta do would be unscrewing the four remaining screws The remains uh, of the nameplate uh, says that um, the speaker cabinet is uh, model ZN60, rated at uh, 50 volt ampere power at uh, 8 ohms. And that should be pretty good for most uh, guitar amplifiers of course including the one that I'm building so let's open this thing get inside Raising the lid of the coffin. Revealing the two, hopefully not dead yet, speakers, model GDS 30 slash 30. With some wild discombobulation going on at the terminals. Let's uh, let's get a better view on on this one if I can. Can I? Mr. Ratman. <laughs> Why are you why are you protesting? If you take a closer look here, 
This is an absolute horror. An absolute engineering nightmare. And there's also one more thing. Someone did some very dodgy connections on this. <laughs> Using a mini jack connector. And a quarter inch on the other side that is not even soldered. Bloody fucking hell. It's not even soldered. Someone connected speakers just like that. Why? All right. Enough fucking ranting. Time to clean up this fucking mess. Let's get a soldering iron and do it like it should be done. Yeah, so first uh, let's desolder all those connections and then replace the cable. And make a nice quarter inch jack uh, for the input connection uh, on this amplifier, on this, uh, on this cabinet, I mean. Phew. Engineering nightmare? How is it possible at all? Ancient horrors. Yeah, remove the remainders of of any old wires that were that were soldered here. Clean it all up and do it anew. Like it should be done. Probably should use some tweezers or forceps to do that. Yeah, I'll use the forceps carry. Use the forceps. No, not this one. This one stays. do is connecting the speakers uh, in series get the scrap out of here uh, I can see um, that uh, the plywood was not a uh, very good quality but I think it's gonna be okay. I've got some got some uh, wire and that will come in handy. I also got a quarter inch jack uh, on the end 
I will have to make a larger hole to accommodate uh, the squatter inch jack and uh, what I want to do is uh, cutting this uh, wire at uh, At this length, for example. And because I'm uh, connecting those speakers uh, in series, I will uh, cut one of the conductors, uh, leaving the other one as it is. Yeah. Strip them. I really need a you know, automatic wire stripper. And then it's time to solder those wires to the terminals. Holding the wire for a, for a while to avoid uh, cold joints. And of course it's critical to preserve uh, the facing. So this side would be the, the negative and the other side would be the positive.
the soldering job is done, it will be time to fit the speaker jack and then the regular quarter inch one. On the back panel, I will have to enlarge the hole. Talking about this one. And I will use a stepped drill for that. I will do it uh, off the, the band because uh, space is uh, pretty tight in here. Almost done. That would be pretty much it. Let's see if the jack uh, can go through. I guess that with some bending it could. Let's see if it's not uh, bent uh, too far. That's a little bit too far. And this should be fine. It comes through. But will it connect? Uh, not quite. So I guess that I will have to enlarge the hole with a file. Only, only slightly. And that should do it. Let's see. It goes through no problem. Plugs in no problem. So yeah, it is time to put the lid. Back in its place, of course, uh, remembering about uh, removing the, the parts that I need. And then the cable and all that.
And the lid going back on the on the speaker cabinet. And now I will attach the plate with the socket. This should be number 14. And it will be time to attach the plate with a bunch of screws. Those might be just a little bit too thick. Gotta look for something thin but long. Let's use the power screwdriver for this. And it's gonna be time to test the speaker. But I will do it later. And I'm also gonna put it together yeah back to the desk Oh yeah, that's one beast of a speaker system. Hope it serves me well with the amplifier that I'm building. Then the chassis is ready and the, the tube sockets are test fit. So the next episode will be the initial uh, 
parts attachment uh, to the chassis and maybe maybe some wiring job on uh, on this amplifier I've been pretty busy doing various uh, wiring and plumbing jobs lately and I didn't really have too much time to make those videos but I I try uh, I try uh, as much as I can to make one or two a week so um, that's uh, that's also kind of a little status update on uh, on what's going on here and uh, there's also the Rattocaster project that uh, I've got a bunch of supplies for it uh, I've got a, a set of uh, replacement machine heads and I got a set of uh, regular slinky strings with a, uh, with a little machine head crank it's not good to crank you right now but but the plan I took a closer look at the fretboard here and uh, my plan is uh, to to clean the fretboard maybe also uh, to send the frets I, uh, I found a nice uh, way to do it it is uh, it involves uh, a uh, piece of metal with a slot uh, cut in it so that it can go over a fret and uh, cover everything uh, around it and then you can uh, send the fret with a uh, rotary tool like a dremel or something like that that uh, that method uh, I picked it up from um, a uh, guitarist and luthier professional Xantip77 uh, he's a uh, Polish guy from my old city though we never met in person and uh, I learned a bunch of things from his channel so I'm uh, I'm gonna put them to good use um, in uh, in my practice uh, because I uh, getting that guitar and uh, getting into adjusting it maintaining it uh, it's pretty fascinating in itself. <laughs> Maybe I will become a professional luthier at some point. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, time to move on with uh, with my projects here. See you soon. Bye.